Hello everybody, it's me again, PC, Genie, all of that stuff. I didn't intend to make this video, so hence I'm unwashed, I've got a horrible sore throat because I've had some sort of illness recently, and I was getting worse, basically it was manageable when I was doing the recording of things about realism in television and all that, and coincidentally, I've had this. This is actually just a screen capture that I've popped in light shot which kind of takes bits of your screen all that stuff anyway but here i don't think you can see it from here because it's a picture of a computer screen but basically some people decided they were going to make a copyright claim against my uh, ancient assassins real braveheart debunked now if you haven't watched that video it's, it's fine basically what happened was i was watching the video you know watching the television program on history channel and I was just sort of, I decided, you know what, this is getting ridiculous because they were saying some ridiculous things and doing stuff that was just, you know, going beyond kind of a slight inaccuracy in history that would take a lot of nitpicking. It was starting to get pretty ludicrous. But of course I nitpicked on the smaller details as well for a bit of extra fun. So I sort of went through little clips. I'm not going to be able to show them now because knowing these guys, they're probably going to try to copyright claim this as well. So I'll just have to talk about it. If they try to copyright claim this video right now, I mean, I need to take a pickaxe to them or something. This is yeah, it's stupid. But um, anyway, so I was looking at certain things like what we a person was describing fighting and things like that and I was sort of you know showing it for be about 20 seconds each clip and I'd sort of go on and ramble for a good minute or two about how wrong it all is and blah 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 you know that kind of stuff or I'd be kind of make I'd have a, a short five second clip and I'd kind of make a quick sniping comment or something like that now regardless of how good or bad you think it is you know it, it's the point is, it's something I was doing as, as a review, and it's under part of copyright law called fair use. And they've been going and deciding, oh, we'll just say oh, it's a copyright breach, because this this guy is saying he doesn't like our program, and you can't say you don't like our program. Tough, you know? Bloody tough. I mean, I've had some old videos, it's like one of my, some of my worst ones were my earliest. I had this one with, um, I've still got, because it's kind of, it's one of the ones of my most viewed, but I've kind of put it as an old video and I had loads of annotations saying that parts that I, I myself admit was wrong about the videos. I mean, were wrong about the videos. And it was stuff like, I said chainmail versus air rifle and bow, and I had sort of in my garage of a bow and all of that. And it was, it was really, it wasn't great. I mean, if I was trying to do something now, I'd probably try to see if I could risk my expensive riveted mail shirt have a proper decent bow like my English longbow and maybe try to do stuff like that, try to see if I could get some arrows, you know, but anyway point being it wasn't that great and people made me quite aware of that there were lots of comments and lots of dislikes but you know what, instead of deleting every comment and saying it's all spam and fraud and trying to get those channels and you know accounts closed down I said, yeah, fair dues, you don't like my video you know, some people like it, other people don't. That's your opinion. And, you know, if people want to review and say, hey, look, this is what the PC Genie did. Ah, oh, look, that's so wrong, and look, he did this. Brr, idiot, tee hee hee. Fine, you know, any one of you listening now could go and do that tomorrow and scavenge a few views off of that, you know, and say about what's wrong with my older content, or even with stuff I'm uploading now, you know, maybe the thing I uploaded today. Whatever. But the point is, you you know, it's, it's just people's opinions, and it's covered under fair use. You're not doing something like some kind of, oh, what are they called? Reaction channels. Like some of those people who just kind of put a whole person's video up, or a whole movie or something, and say, oh, you know, it's kind of react with, you know, gestures or whatever. This is, these are clips, uh, you know, it's the actual reviewing part is longer than the content, you know, the other person's content being shown, it's clearly about it, you need to see the content to understand what's being discussed, it's all part of fair use. But apparently, these guys, part of big organisations and their legal departments, aren't aware. Or, the more paranoid side of myself is probably thinking, well in fact is definitely thinking, they are completely aware of the fact that this is, you know, fair use, 
and they're deciding they're going to try to bully me into giving in and saying, oh no, yeah, you can, you know, you can monetize it yourself or have it unavailable or completely remove it. But that's, that's not right. It's illegal. They are literally committing a crime. And anyone who knows me knows that I don't like crime. Bear that in mind. So yes, um, so since you can't see my screen on here, I mean I'll put a... No, in fact, I'll put the thing on the screen now. Boom. Thank you, editing. Um, so yes, basically it was around, like I said, sort of um, copyright law and whatnot. Sorry, I'm adjusting my chair. And I was saying, you know, I'm basically what I've already said to you. In the quote, I am directly reviewing segments from the television programme and because I am performing critique using sections of the comment, sorry, of the content and not just broadcasting a show, it counts as fair use. Disliking my negative opinions towards the show does not constitute copyright violation and the content I have uploaded is transformative in the time discussing the show's flaws using short clips to highlight what I am describing. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. To summarise, basically what I'm saying is, you know, well actually that's pretty summative itself, it's only a couple of paragraphs, but yeah. So the fair use covers things like reviews. If I was just, if I just sort of put up the entire, you know, television programme, even if I was recording it awkwardly from my screen like I was, you know, using this very camera, if I had the whole video up there, you know, the whole program, or a whole section and maybe divides it into parts, like one, two, three, like some people do, then yes, that's copyright abuse. I'm just broadcasting other people's content, and I just made a, you know, occasional comment, oh, that's silly, oh, that's unrealistic, ha ha ha, that was good, or whatever, that's not going to work. But in this case, I was only using short clips, and the actual, like I said before, the reviewing sections, the sections where I was demonstrating techniques, or talking about it, were longer, than the actual original program, it's you know that I showed itself. In fact, to be honest, this is probably going to get to the point where this little rant here, <laughs> sorry about that, is going to be longer than the video that I did. It was only very short clips. Like I said, they were up to about twenty seconds, maybe a maximum of a minute each. And again, each one I'd spend probably you know two, three, four minutes in the longer versions. I mean, I haven't checked myself but I know that I certainly spent a while doing the actual reviews and I made sure because I've already had this before when I was talking about Robin Hood's history and all of that that people are quite antsy to snipe up those copyright claims so I knew in advance that I need to try and make sure that this is as convincing as possible that yes I'm not just wanting to broadcast your program I'm reviewing it I'm explaining things to people about history and anachronism and all of that stuff again it doesn't matter whether people like what I've done or dislike what I've done, just in the same way as it doesn't matter whether I dislike their program or I like their program. The fact of the matter is, it's fair use, and opinions are not against the law. Trying to take someone's channel down because you don't like their opinion is against the law, so cut it out. Goodbye.